Now, let me uncheck this calculated field and let me rearrange such that the category will be in filters. And you will have product in column and country in rows, just like this. Okay, so I put category in filters and co product in columns and rows in a country in rows. Okay, is it okay you guys can stay maybe like four or five minutes extra if, if need be? Okay, cool. Okay, now uh, let me go down to cell location A16. And let's say if I want to see beans, um, France. So how many France beans or how many beans from France? Okay. So I can choose <laughs> to type the cell location. What is the cell location for a France beans? What is the cell location for France beans? Okay, so we'll type equals to G8 and we'll hit enter. No problem. It gives you the correct value that the beans France is 680. Perfectly fine. But here comes the problem. I go under category. Right now it says all, right? I'll say, okay, uh, choose vegetables and click OK. So when I choose vegetables, that means I'm eliminating all the fruits. As a result, beans France is still referring to G8 and there is nothing in G8. The beans France says what? Zero. Okay. We need to fix the problem. How can we fix the problem? Is by using a built-in function. So let's clear the filter again and choose all instead of vegetables. You will see that you get your 680 back, right? Okay, now go back in that cell and delete the G8. Leave the equals to only. And once the equals to is there, I want you to click in the cell G8. Don't type G8 directly, just click in the cell G8. The moment you do that, you will see this new formula that pops up, get pivot data. What happens is with this formula, even if the cell location changed, but as long as beans is on the screen, it will track it. So it's basically saying that I want to look for this data item. As long as it is visible, I want to be able to refer to this data item. So it has some arguments or, or values. The first one is the data field amount is what we are looking at, right? The 680 is the amount, what we're looking at. Uh, then um, the reference of the cell, uh, A4, which is the sum of the amount reference field. And then we have the actual product is beans. That's what we are tracking. And, and the country, France. Okay. So now let's hit enter. So now 680 is still there, just like before. But this time when you go to category, and instead of all, you choose vegetables and click OK. Notice 680 is tracked. You do not lose 680. So that's a get pivot data uh, or dynamically getting the pivot data values through this get pivot data function. So, but if you choose fruits and click OK, then that value will be an error because the value has to be on the screen for it to pick the value. If the value is not on the screen, then, you know, it will fail, definitely.